Hello YouTube, Mr. Ozenator here, and today I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you. Very simple and quick effect you can make in the style of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World movie. As you can tell, I'm quite a fan. The kind of final boss at the end has this cool looking sword, which is kind of pixelated and leaves a kind of like a pixelated trail behind it. So that'd be pretty cool to try and do that effect in Photoshop. Just before I get into that though, Quick thanks to my latest subscribers. Try and read these out quickly. CV Assaulting, Fresh Edits, High Def GFX, Mr. D. Johnson, Control Z Creations, Engage GFX, To Cool Beans, Jake Bucala, Miss Joss, Official AVS, X Luke, and The Freestyle Arts. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks for subscribing. Hope you enjoy the video. As you can see, I couldn't find a decent image so it's going to just have to be Gandalf for this one. First what you want to do, you want to duplicate the layer, click OK. Preferably the image should have some figure in it which you're going to pixelate such as a sword or some sort of weapon usually looks cool. Now on this new duplicated layer you want to go up to the top, go filter, pixelate, mosaic. Choose the cell size depending on the size of your image, I'm going for cell size 12. And then what you want to do, just grab the eraser tool, make it a large brush, brush size, set the opacity to 100, and then just erase the areas around the sword. You want to leave the sword pixelated because that's the effect we're going for. There we go. Once you've done that, come down here, make a new layer, and then you want to grab your brush tool. Just select a standard soft brush. This time I'm using that size uh, 100. You want it to be just big enough to cover the width of the sword. Set the colour to blue or whatever colour sword you want. This works with whatever colour you want. In the movie it's blue so I'm going to be doing it blue this time. And then you just simply paint over the sword. That was really bad. Let me do that again. Paint over the sword. Then come over here on the right, set the blending mode to overlay. And as you can see, it's already looking pretty cool. Now what you want to do is you want to make a new layer. Come back to your brush tool, make the brush size a lot bigger. So you want a wider spread this time. Probably about double, maybe even more than double. Going to go up to 250. The same blue colour and then just brush over the sword once more. Give it it will give a much, oh, let me do that again. It will get, oh, and again. It will give a much wider spread, and yeah, so it makes it look like it's even more glowing. What you want to do, set that to overlay, and then play about with the opacity. I'm going to go about 60%, I think. Yep, and just as a final touch, you can leave it there if you want, or just want to add some kind of blue glowing bits to the rest of the scene. Just go back to your brush tool, make the size quite small even smaller and then just just even smaller actually and then all you want to do is just brush on the areas which if you imagine in your head the sword would be glowing light onto such as this Gandalf's arms and stuff if you don't want them to be as hard just go filter blur Gaussian blur set it to about 10 pixel radius give it a nice blur effect set this to overlay same as before and lower the opacity to about 40%. And that's the final image, really simple design as I said. Kind of a beginner tutorial, but you can I'm sure you could use this in many different advanced ways. This has been Mr. Ozenator. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of my videos, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.